Melbourne G. Glasscock, class of 1959. My father talked about it uh, from as early as I can remember. Uh, he had wanted to go to Texas a and That was one of his desires. Uh, I don't know what happened. You never know what happens in families, but uh, he uh, didn't do that. He instead, he went into the Marine Corps uh, back when he graduated from high school. And, uh, and I'm not sure even how long he stayed in the Marine Corps, but he was long enough that uh, he was sent to China uh, in the 1920s. And, and there was one regiment of Marines went there and he was considered, he was part of what they called the China Marines. And uh, when he got back, you know, I guess uh, he was in the late 20s uh, and then the economy turned down and he just never went to college. But he always talked about it and he encouraged me to go to it. And of course, we would listen to all the football games on the radio and every Thanksgiving, I, I can remember, uh, listening to the a and Texas game, was accepted, and uh, it was a thrill uh, for me, for the family, because I was basically the first one in our family uh, to, to go to a full four-year college, a major college like Texas A&M. Melbourne Glasscock was a member of the fish drill team, served on core staff as a junior, the commander of Squadron One, and was commander of the Ross Volunteer Company. Glasscock received his bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering from Texas A&M and his master's degree in mechanical engineering from Rice. He then entered active duty with the Air Force, serving as a project officer in the Rocket Propulsion Laboratory at Edwards Air Force Base. After leaving the military, Glasscock began his career at Mobile Chemical Company and later Texas Olefins Company. In 1980, Glasscock and his wife Susie founded Texas Aromatics Incorporated, where he serves as president and chief executive officer. Glasscock established the Melbourne G. Glasscock Center for Humanities Research within the Texas A&M Liberal Arts Department. He was vice chair of the One Spirit, One Vision campaign and has served on the Texas A&M Foundation Board of Trustees. The Corps prepared me uh, for later life in the sense it just gave me a tremendous amount of confidence in my abilities and uh, how I approached uh, uh, work and life. Uh, you learned how to work with people and, uh, as I said, uh, have confidence in, the, in what you're doing. And, uh, of course, I have a, a small company and uh, I think, like there again, going back to my core experience, it, it, it's helped in, in terms of my relations with the people who work for me and uh, I love them dearly. I love them just as much as I I uh, loved my outfit back at, in, in 1959. It was a testing ground to see if I came up to the standards of the Corps, which I thought were pretty high. And uh, you had to learn, they, they, the old saw about Aggie doesn't lie, cheat or steal, you know, that was embedded into us. And I think it's, uh, it's pretty well, it's, it's a tremendous influence on your life and how you live your life. I wouldn't take it back for anything. I mean, I just, it was, it was a defining experience in my life. And uh, I'm so very proud of that. Ladies and gentlemen, inducted into the Corps of Cadets Hall of Honor, Melbourne G. Glasscock, class of 1959.